Good morning. Morning. We are in our final Alaskan port of Ketchikan, Alaska today. We just docked at Ward Cove. We're going to go get some breakfast before until they clear the ship. We are doing Bering Sea Crab Fisherman's excursion this morning. So we're going to get crabby. Ah, ah, ah. Ha, ha. <coughs> so um, we're going to head to breakfast at the local. And then we're going to head ashore. So let's get going. Look what I found! I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Susan. Together we love to travel. One of our favorite places to be is aboard a Norwegian ship at sea. Good food, drinks, and friends make a relaxing trip indeed. So come along with us as we let the sea set us free. Here at the local for breakfast, Matthew and I both got the breakfast sandwich, and it looks amazing. <laughs> okay, so we're here ashore in Ketchikan. We are at Ward Cove Dock. It's the new dock for NCL that NCL built here in Ketchikan. Stream, do you know all five? Uh, pink, sockeye. Uh, um, Bar Harbor restaurant is here, that's where I work as well. It's one of the, my second job. Downtown Catch Yeah, you might wonder how we got here today, huh? <laughs> well, I had a few, a few issue, folks. My small one is called the Ballad. And back in uh, 25 years ago, I came to Catch to offload halibut. And one day I'm walking down the dock, and here comes two cruise ships. I never saw cruise ships in Catch Can. <laughs> well, I hardly ever came to Catch Can. I fished out on that ocean, right? I was going home. You guys are coming down those gangways side by side. But now you know what I started thinking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Opportunity, you bet. <laughs> this guy pulls up in a tour boat. And I said, hey, what are you doing? He says, I got 95 people coming off these cruise ships. And I get to drive them around the bay front and tell them to catch a cat from the water. <laughs> God, that made me mad that day. <laughs> because I'm looking at you guys. And I'm thinking to myself, you come from around the world. Some of you people save your money for years to come on this vacation. And that man laughed about it. And I looked on that water and I thought, how do we catch that stuff? How do we pull it up? How do we hand it to you? How do we share our stories? And how do I show you things above the water that just might blow your mind? So after 10 years of dreaming about it, driving around the Bering Sea in the Gulf of Alaska, I woke up one day and I said, let's rip this boat apart and turn it into a tour boat. We got here July 25th of 2007. We had zero cruise ships aboard, okay? Zero. 
We didn't have anybody pick us up as an excursion. Our first trip, we had five guests, two, four, five. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, it was worth every penny that we spent on this boat, and we did spend three times more money converting this boat to bring you guys than it paid for the damn thing. So, well, you'll find out why here today. Put together a phenomenal crew for you. Dave Timberland is going to be with you. Yep. It only took me 10 years, 10 years of talking to that man before I got him on this boat, okay? Dave Timberman's gonna give you 100% today. He's done fisheries I've never done. He's one of the best, okay? Thanks, Dave. We're on, Captain. All right. We got another guest here today. He's not gonna be on deck so much, but I'm gonna introduce Ron Wallen, okay? Hang on. Ron is, uh, he was on that princess ship, right? How many of you guys saw Ron in the theater or on the TV? He was a man that spoke in the, in the auditorium on the way up to Alaska. You know famous crab fishermen, Sig Hansen, uh, yep. Jonathan, yep. Bill Harris, yep. Keith and Andy. That man right there is 45 years right out of the Bering Sea. Mm. I put a microphone on him a couple weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of him for years. Trust me. I think he's a, he's a legend in the Bering Sea. And it's an honor to have Ron Wallen right along with us today. Thanks for All right. This man here is Dennis Frenzy. Now we call him Big D because uh, I put this man through hell before. Trust me, he wanted to slit his wrist many times, huh, Dee? Yeah. How many times? Pretty much all. All of them. Yeah, I did put him through hell, but trust me, I have stood next to no finer man on a deck of a fishing boat than that one right there. Big D, I'll give you 100%. Thank you. Uh, and we got some greenhorns today. Oh, we got Maddie. We got Kendall, and we got Melissa. Now, right. yeah. <laughs> Whose vacation is it? It's your vacation. <laughs> These girls, they've got our backs to keep us safe. They're gonna keep you safe. And if you would like anything today, please ask us, okay? We got jackets, whatever, to keep you warm. We're gonna get out of here and go see a lot of stuff and have a blast. How about that? Let's go. Woo!
that today, you would see Big D and I take those steps right there. That's how you guys can get up top as well if you want to get up there and explore today, okay? We would go back behind that wheelhouse. There's two small stepways, one on either side. We'll get back there, we'll kick over self-inflating life rafts. They hit the water, turn it into a raft. We bring it right here, and this is where we'd be joining on those, okay? Again, we've never had to use them on tour. I'm gonna wait till that Uber takes off, and then I'll let you some more. They said, no way. 
all that stuff's out of season. You can't pull that in the middle of summer. We gotta give it to other people too, right? Well, he came into an agreement with these Simpsons. We get to fish in their waters today. That's a blessing for us. 95% of what we catch, whether it's in the tank today or we bring it up, it's gonna go back into the water or to their shelves or their plates at a later date, okay? It's very important to us. Now, 5% of what we catch, hopefully we catch it today, we're not gonna be able to throw that back. Certain kind of fish, they come up off the bottom, they get the fins. We'll explain that to you when the time comes, if it does. We need bait, it's all the circle of life, okay, you guys? Excellent. All right, you know where we're going. We know how to be safe. Give you guys a little treat here. Push that block out, get ready to fish. Anybody know what that is? The hook. The hook. The hook. Yeah. That's right, the grapple. Now, for those of you that don't know, we've got our gear sunk to the bottom of the ocean, okay? We've got buoys connected to that. The main buoy is gonna be the diver buoy. That's connected directly to the gear. That diver buoy is gonna have our boat information on it. That way we can identify it and other vessels can identify it too. That's how people do that. Then there's gonna be a secondary buoy that trails away from that, spinning with the currents and the tides, right? <laughs> Our job is gonna to be to retrieve those lines, to throw this grapple between them, bring those lines to the boat, put them in one of our three blocks right here, and bring that gear on board, okay? But what I want you guys to do is get over here and get your best deadly sketch pose, all right? Get your hip against the rail. You're not friends with Captain Dave right now. He's had you out here for 24 hours straight. You haven't even had a damn sandwich, okay? All right, get that look off into the distance. Although there are select few that are probably going to get that Gucci purse hook look. <laughs> I look pretty good like this, don't I? That's right. Listen, here's the most important part of the hook. Don't throw it, and here's why. If it gets wrapped around you or anything, it takes three seconds for this thing to get back to the propellers, and it'll take three seconds for you to get back to the propellers after that, all right? It's very serious. Just pretend you're throwing the hook. All right. Now, Big D is going to be out here. He's going to bait up this tub of gear for when we go long line it. I'm going to swap out with Captain Dave and drive. He's going to come down and tell you a little bit more history of the Aleutian Ballad, okay? But right now, I got a question for you. Who's been waiting two years and COVID got in the way and screwed things up? Yeah. Woo! Okay, we made it, right? And listen, I want everybody to be loud here in a second because we're on a crap boat in Alaska, you guys. Come oh, look going to be great. I'm excited. Okay, the chains are down. You guys are welcome to explore the boat. You can check out up top. We just ask that you stay out of areas that say crew only, okay? Unless you're invited into those areas. Go ahead and get up with those pictures by the hook. Let's have a good time today, you guys.